cease your movement, monarch. Thank you. Eating Justicia Flava, I think. Is it? No, is it our old pal, the Waltheria? That's our old pal, the Waltheria. So there, a monarch. And of course, you will read and hear that the monarch butterfly eats milkweed. Well, it isn't, the, in fact, the butterfly, of course, it's the larva, the caterpillar that eats the milkweed, and that's what makes the monarch that you're looking at now so very toxic. And I would very much one day like to see that spectacular sight of the North American monarch migration, which of course doesn't happen here. They stay very much in situ in South Africa. Some of them will last pretty much through the winter, I think. But that sight of millions of them heading from, I think it is, what is it, southwestern Canada all the way to northeastern, no, southeastern Canada, all the way to northwestern Mexico must be quite something. And the story, if you don't know, if you're not familiar with the monarch story, the familiar, or the, I mean, they didn't know where they went for a long time. They knew that millions of them moved around the United States, the continental United States, and made some kind of migration. They knew they headed down across the United States, but they never knew quite where, until they engaged the help of an old couple who began searching for them, I think it took them about 25 years to find the mountain top on which they go to in Mexico. Now everybody knows where it is, but the story of how they found it is quite interesting. And it took them about 25 years of searching, following the butterflies, and uh, eventually they found a local person in Mexico, I forget exactly where, and asked him if they'd seen a whole lot of butterflies, and he gave them directions to this isolated sort of mountain top. And there in amongst, I think it was the pine trees, they found these millions and millions and millions of monarch butterflies. Righty, let's continue.